There were incredible obstacles for female artists of this time period. Many of these artists had to benefit from the tutelage of relatives, maybe a husband or a father or a brother, because there was no opportunity to join a guild or learn in a formal school the way that men could. And I think of that as almost akin to outsider art today. Maybe that engendered its own kind of creativity. I was intrigued by the wowdier still life because of the sense of the macabre that I think people don't typically or readily associate with women. It's a very beautiful painting in its attention to detail. There's an incredible variety of color in the treatment of the flowers, but it's also dark and ominous and with the skulls that these flowers seem to be sort of resting on or hung between. You very much get the sense of the memento mori. There is a presence of death. And I liked the irony that this work was painted by a woman and you wouldn't necessarily assume that looking at it. I didn't know Michalino Woutier and actually nobody knew about her work till 2018 when there was a exhibition in Antwerp that really put her on the map and introduced her work to a broad and wide audience and established her as a, an artist who we should be looking at. What I see here is a very impressionist rendering, actually. It's quite an all-over composition. When you're up close to it, it's very difficult to absorb and distill all of the various details, but from far away, it's very legible and exuberant. It's so interesting that she was an under-recognized or relatively unknown artist because I can so clearly draw a path to an artist like Fantin Latour or Kaibot. Many of the floral still lifes of the turn of the century in Europe bear the hallmarks of what she's working with here. Very fine and yet also gestural brushwork and the highlights of the white that really deliver fabulous contrast with darker areas of the painting, creating a lot of depth. It's so important in every field to always be exploring the history and depth and pursuing different leads. These women were very accomplished artists who probably deserve much greater recognition hundreds of years sooner.